YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I need you guys' help. <laughs> I need your help, I need your expertise, I need your information. Um, like many of you, I like to junk, I like to thrift, and go to yard sales and do all that. Unfortunately, a lot of things I buy, I have no clue of the name, when it was manufactured, you know, important information that we as crafters like. So I have been meaning to do a video like this, and you can best believe more videos like this will come because I have a lot of stuff that I need information on, and I just can't seem to find the answers using Google. So I thought, why not do a video? Why not put it out there and see what you guys can assist me with okay so I'm gonna start off with these I think they're beads I got them from a thrift store in a bag and I think they're so cool I love the color it's a very light sage color I think they're beads because there's a hole on both sides they look vintage to me but I don't know I've never seen beads like this in any of the craft stores so if these look familiar to any of you please leave the information in a comment below a lot of times when you find the vintage uh, whether it be curtains or different things they have beads on them so I wonder well this is a lot of beads to come off of one item so I don't know you guys help me out Alrighty, and then I shared this trim before in one of my chit chat or this and that videos. And look at it. It is beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so I've never seen this trim before at any local store either. The great thing about junkin is you will find those one of a kind or those rare items. Now, I do use Google to get as much information as possible. However, you have to know, you have to use the right keywords, whatever the right keywords are. And I did my best to find listings of this type of yarn trim. I did find, I don't want to say similar trims, but it was as close to this as I could find and that let's see that listing stated that that trim was from the 70s and this definitely looks 70s to me I mean is trim made with yarn anymore so pretty love it help me out you guys okay so I don't think this is vintage it is thrifted but and I think it's a throw but I thought this material was cool. What is it called? What's used? I see rolls of it. And you know what? I should probably put my glasses on too. So I just thought the texture was pretty. It's very stretchy. And I think it's a throw. It could have been a blanket. I don't know. Okay, you guys. Help me out. All right. Recently, I came across several of these volumes books. I searched online and I could not find one reference to this book. It says do art and that's what I typed in. Nothing came up. It's Asian themed. At least the writing is. So I typed in do art. Asian volume I couldn't find one hit not one reference I think well it's an Asian language I want to say maybe it's Chinese I don't know though so if you understand this language please help me out I know it's an art book it teaches how to paint I believe but I couldn't find once again, any reference on this. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> I love it. This volume is 1992. And this volume consists of different, different books. 
So somebody help me out. You know, let's go back. The only thing that's in English is this information right here, the credits. And I did type in some of these people's names with the title Do Art, and I still didn't get any hits. And then this is in English down here. The only other things that are in English, sometimes the art has English names or like along here, this print comes from night. Well, it comes from this reference here. Those are the only things in English besides sometimes you'll get the, the painter's signature. But I love these books, by the way, you guys. One of these books will be in my Asian junk journal kit. I will have coming your way really, really, really soon. But I love this. I love the art and I love the Asian script. Please, somebody help me out. Okay, do art and that's all that it states. Alrighty. Now, this is also thrifted. It looks crochet to me, but I don't know. I think it's pretty. I got this from the baby section. So what's the proper name for it? Is this knitting? Is it crocheting? Look at this beautiful texture there. Love that. What is it called, you guys? What is it called? This. This here. Now, I know this is a tablecloth. To me, it totally looks vintage. This is beautiful. I don't know how someone could have parted with this. It's a lot of this beautiful embroidery work, not just along the perimeter of this tablecloth, but also there's two rows of it. You see one row here in the center of the tablecloth. When was it made? The inside liner, you know what? I think I have something else to show too. Yeah, because this inside liner is not green. Need to run to my kitchen and get that other piece. But um, I this is so beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at the edge there. The same type of material that has the embroidery along the perimeter is the same type of material for the inside of the tablecloth. There is no liner. This is just gorgeous, you guys. If you recognize this, what decade? Or if you recognize, because sometimes you could tell how old something is by the lace work. Well, if this looks familiar to anybody out there, please help me out. Okay, and then I picked up this just an hour or so ago from an estate sale in my neighborhood or community. And I would say it's crocheted, but then again, it don't look crocheted. Okay, this is beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. It's bigger. It's folded right now. But can you see these beautiful hearts. I don't know how many hearts. I'm going to call this crochet, but I don't know. I don't think so. Look how beautiful that is. And then you get this type of texture here. I mean, how does one do that? And these hearts are on well, throughout the whole I'm going to call it a throw. But this is how the back side looks. This is absolutely gorgeous! But, like these other items showcased in the video, I don't have any information on it. I don't knit. I don't crochet. There's no tag on it. So, if you have any information on this beautiful throw, please let me know. Let me come up a little closer so you can see the texture. It feels so nice. And I love this cream color. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Now, I do plan on cutting this up. <laughs> Help me out, you guys. You guys. Okay, so I'll I have a couple down. more items to share. So this next item, 
is also thrifted. When I found it, or the reason why I purchased it, is because it looked 70s to me. This is a tablecloth. Excellent condition, beautiful, has my two favorite colors, brown and yellow, and I love orange too. This is a gorgeous. I'm working on a 70s kitchen, by the way. Well, I looked online, oh no, no. I looked through some magazines and saw that orange and yellow were popular colors for the 60s too. So I don't know. You guys, help me out. The inside liner is this sage green. It feels like plastic inside. And this is just gorgeous. You see the flowers, the different colors. Okay, you guys, I know it's a tablecloth, but what decade is it from? And then finally, at least for this video, I love this. I also assumed this was 70s because of the colors, but you know what? It could be the 60s. So I spent Mother's Day with my daughter who lives in Los Angeles, actually spent the weekend with her. And it happened to be that Sunday. Well, she had the whole weekend planned out. She took me to, we did the wine tasting safari. And I don't know why we did that because I don't drink wine, but I do love animals, but that was fun. She took me to a Grammy, a Grammy show honoring veteran singers, including like Dionne Warwick and uh, I can't think of the other names. And then Sunday, she surprised me and took me to the Rose, I can't think of the name, the Rose Flea Market. That's a once a month flea market in Pasadena. Well, there, <laughs> plus my kids, well, my son who lives in Germany, sent money for me to spend. So I can say this came from him. Well, I found these items from that flea market. And look, you guys, it's a rooster. It's yellow. It has brown. Or what color is this? This is not brown. It's in the brown family, though, like a gold, um, a gold brown. But it's an apron. I assumed it was the 70s, but this could be the 60s. And you know what? Some of you guys might have this in your kitchen. Okay, and here's the matching. Um what do you call it? dish rag and then a couple pot holders now these are brand spanking new with the tag still on it and if I didn't mention you guys my nails are stained because I've been eco dyeing paper like mad like a mad woman around here I'm looking for my glasses oh well they're buried but three four dollar the tag is still there and it says pennies I think that might be JC pennies but I'm not too sure so, uh, two of the chicken or rooster pot holders, and then, now, <laughs> I tell this story in a chit-chat video that I have uploaded, but it's not published. I'm going to tell it again, quickly, in this video. Okay, so, it's about maybe 12 o'clock, no, about 11 o'clock, I'm at the flea market, and so I, it's a lot of vendors. It is huge. There's no way you can see the whole thing. I don't think in one day. It's that many vendors. It's that huge. But I'm in the section that's dedicated to vintage stuff. So I stop at this one vendor and I see these items laid out on her table. And I'm like, hmm, should I get them? Should I not get them? So I decided to keep walking with the intentions of going back to get these, right? Because I figured it's about 11, 1130. They have been open since 7, I believe. If no one has purchased them by like 11 o'clock, no one's probably going to get them in the next 5, 10 minutes. So I walked a short distance. I was not gone. I kid you not. Maybe 2, 3 minutes, people, if that. And I decided to go back so I could get these items. 
How come when I got there, it's a woman standing right there holding this in her hands? And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. And people, I was stalking her. I mean, I was right up on her. <laughs> I was like, how could it be I walk away for a minute or two and come back and there's a, a potential buyer? And so I'm standing right by her praying that she sets them down. Because you look at this one, you guys look at it. It's the mason jar, right? Canning, right? Look at that beautiful, this is just so pretty. The design is on both sides. And a pot holder. This is to die for. And so I don't know how many minutes I'm standing there praying and and boy, nervous, right? Because if she decides to buy this, I'm going to lose my mind because I don't come across stuff like this. And so uh, she picked up one of these sets and asked how much it costs. The lady said seven bucks. And I wanted to slap myself because you know you'll pay more in the stores for a quality dish towel and a pot holder. A modern set, let alone a brand new vintage set. So she just took the one set and went to go pay for it. Let me tell you, originally, I had no intentions of getting the rooster. But after she purchased her lone dish towel and pot holder in the mason jar design, I got it all. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. And then so when she, she was in line paying for her order, I was teasing her, telling her how I was just here a couple minutes ago wanting to buy this standing praying asking the lord lord please don't let her buy all of it <laughs> then i told her if she had bought it all i would have snatched it from her and took off running <laughs> i wouldn't have did that but you guys this look at this so i know what it is but i don't know when it was manufactured oh you know what look at here i can't find my glasses it says made in the USA, so we know that this is old, right? <laughs> Nothing today is made in the USA except for babies. That's what I say. Okay, so I don't know what all that states. But this probably came from Pennies too. So you guys, is Pennies and JC Pennies the same store? Let me know. All right, you guys, thank you for your for your assistance those of you who can help i know many of you don't know how to leave comments if you know how to email though you can email me at bible scraps at yahoo.com i am interested in your knowledge so please share it all right you guys i will be back for another video like this but i have to remember what it is i need help with all right want to thank you all for watching as always oh, and i quickly want to share a bohemian lot that I have available I did share a video several days ago you are looking at well it's all messy right now because this is my pack or bundle I made for myself but there's two bundles in one one bundle consists of fabric that I cut down from beautiful Indian apparel and I call that pack the charm fabric pack there's over 30 pieces of beautiful different types of fabric and then the other bundle consists, well, I call it the embellishment pack because I have beautiful embellishments also from beautiful Indian apparel. If you are interested, you can click right now in the upper right hand screen to be taken to that video. This bundle is $16, first class shipped, USA only. If you're interested, you can Bible. You can email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com. All right. Thank you all for watching and shopping. As always.